I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill. Talk about being quick and cool headed. Be, be cool headed. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Criminal Content. My name is Kobe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can stay up to date with criminal content over on Instagram too, which is criminal.content. And you can stay up to date with me personally if you want to on Instagram, which is at Kobe Connell. So today I am getting into Unforgiven in 90s Clint Eastwood, which I'm excited about because I love Clint Eastwood. I love him as a director, I love him as an actor. Uh, he's incredible and he's made some of my favorite movies and I'm, I've am i seen most, if not all, um, of his my more modern ones and things like, uh, I mean, the perfect A Perfect World, I loved. I went to the movies to see it when it came out. Um, and so things from Absolute Power, True Crime, uh, Gran Torino, Million Dollar Baby, I've seen all those, um, but I haven't seen Unforgiven and I haven't seen his like Dirty Harry series or any of these sort of westerny ones. So I know that much about this. I know it's a western and I know it's Clint Eastwood and that's all I got. So for the full watch along, head over to our Patreon. And with that, let's get into Unforgiven. Some volume. Okay. <laughs> Unforgiven. I used to get the title of this confused with Untouchables. Untouchables, Unforgiven. But it is a Western, I believe. That's all I, I know. She was a comely young woman and not without prospects. Therefore, it was heartbreaking to her mother that she would enter into marriage with William Money, or Muni Money, a known thief and murderer, a man of notorious, vicious, and intemperate disposition. When she died, it was not at his hands, as her mother might have expected, but of smallpox. That was 1878. Big Whiskey, Wyoming. I didn't even know there was a place called Big Whiskey. That's cool. I am 1880, so two years after what we just read. No, please, no. Shoes on. Come around and ask. Stop. <laughs> hold up. Stay. Go on, hold her. Hold her. Damn it, damn it. Is he got a knife? Like a sword? Like a. Cowboy. Gene <laughs> ah, Hackman. Love him. He's now retired from acting for a long time, he says. She didn't steal nothing. She didn't even touch his poke. All she done when she seen he had a teensy little pecker is give a giggle, that's all. <laughs> Can hang him, little Bill. That's a brothel. And that's Frances Fisher, so she was married to Clint Eastwood for a while. I wonder if they met on this, or was that long before that, or they were already married? I'm not sure where that would fit in, but they were married for a minute, or together. Let's hear the lawful contract between me and Delano Fitzgerald to cut more. That's his voice, isn't it? At least ways won't pay to do it. And maybe she can clean up the place or something, but nobody's gonna pay good money for a cut-up whore. That guy's voice is a similar register to Clint Eastwood. You boys off the bar tea. For what they've done, skinny, get some ponies, and that's it? That ain't fair, little Bill. That ain't fair. Have you seen enough blood for one night, huh? How bad did they cut up her face? I mean, like they was uh, tramps or loafers or bad men. You know, they were just hard-working boys that... They cut up her face! If they was given over to wickedness in a regular way, I'd understand. Of course. Alice? That's Delilah. That Clint? You don't look like no rootin', tootin', son of a bitch and cold blooded assassin. Say what? <laughs> yes, as you're calling yourself Mr. William Money. You have me confused with someone else, Mr. The same one as shot Charlie Pepper up in Lake County? Who's that? Yeah, well, Uncle Pete says you was the meanest damn son of a bitch alive. <laughs> 
And if I ever wanted a partner for a killing, you were the worst one. On account as yours, you're as cold as the snow. And you don't have no weak nerve nor fear. <laughs> I'm a damn killer myself, except that uh, I ain't killed as many as you because of my youth. Schofield kid is what they call me. <laughs> I cut up her face, cut her eyes out, cut her ears off. Hell, even cut her teeth. That's not true. I mean, is he talking about... Is that... $1,000 for Ward, Will. 500 apiece. I can't move those damn pigs. Do the best you can with it and go to the pump and get yourself cleaned up. Come on, come on. Has that story just become exaggerated as it's been passed down? Well, if you used to change your mind, might be you could catch me. I'll be riding due west of the Western Trail, heading north into Wyoming. Come on, let's separate those hogs. So he said that the person that was attacked in his story, they'd cut her ears off, her eyes out, her chest. But that's that other woman we saw, Delilah, just had this, the cuts horrible, but on her face only. Took you boys a while. A couple more days, and uh, I was going to call on the sheriff. How about that? The river was all swollen. Oh. She can sell her or, or do what she wants. Who is that? She ain't got no face left. You're going to give her a goddamn mangy pony? She ain't mangy, man. Get out of here. Take the pony, though. Get out of here. 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 Take the pony. Nobody even asked her. She could sell it, they said, but I wouldn't. I would keep the pony. It's not a good shot. <laughs> Your pa used to kill folks? It's better, <laughs> but it's a shotgun. <laughs> 1840. Oh, 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 and that's her. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have any of his skills anymore. The horse riding, shooting. How good's he gonna be? He ain't hardly been in the saddle myself in a while. Uh oh. I used to be weak and give him a mistreating animals. Come on, come on. Get up! I'll be back in a couple weeks. You remember how the spirit of your dear departed ma watches over you. Two baby children for a couple of weeks. Wow. How long? All week? Well, I didn't hear nothing last night myself. Hell, the witch probably got all the way down to Texas by now. <laughs> Shit, Bill, I guess and nobody's gonna come here from Texas. Been added to and elaborated on. They'll stay out there at the bar tea, close to their friends. Shit, though. Could be nobody won't come at all. Well, gotta go. I like your house. They're coming. Oh! Oh, Pete. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. We thought we did. All right, so what these fellas did? Cheated cards? Steal some strays? Spit on a rich fellow? And he's gonna tell the trumped up version. Cut her eyes out. Cut her fingers off. Cut her... Everything but her cunning, I suppose. Be dull. Whoa. So you still have that Spencer rifle, huh? Yeah. And I can still knock your eye out of a bird flying. <laughs> He's still trying to get on the horse. Now I'm just nervous already. Who's gonna make it back? Who's not? We well, must be moving right along. We'll come across him tomorrow, I reckon. He might not want to split three ways. He might make them split their 500. She don't like it much, does she? You riding off with me. <laughs> Gave me the evil eye. Well, you know, Sally's engine and engines ain't over friendly, Will. <laughs> Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth and his teeth came out the back of his head? Whew. He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. At least nothing I could remember when I sobered up. Mm -hmm. You ain't like that no more. Eagle, he hated my guts. 
Bonaparte didn't think too much of me either. Quincy neither, right? Quincy used to just watch all the time. Well, like I said, you ain't like that no more. That's right. I'm just a fella now. Ain't no different than anyone else. But they'd be thinking that, um... Sure as hell sounds like a John Ball to me. Well, sir, again, I don't wish to give offense when I suggest that this country should select a uh, king or even a queen rather than a president. One isn't that quick to shoot a king or a queen. He looks familiar, but I can't place him. This dude, sir. Might be that this dude here is English Bob. He's the one who works with the railroad shooting Chinaman. Well, and that guy, too. <laughs> That's eight for me and one for you. They're not even like shooting them to hunt them and eat them or cook them. That's just killing them for sport. Well, no doubt your aim was affected by your grief over the injury to your president. But are Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman thinking that those guys that they're after killed the girl? You know, it's a savage country, really. It's uncivilized shooting persons of substance. Mm-hmm. Bar and an undertaker's and a bank. <laughs> All the essentials. But neither my companion or I carry firearms on our person. We rely upon the goodwill of our fellow man. And the forbearance of reptiles. Liar. I'd rather it's hot and cold. Everything hurts me more when it's cold. Mm -hmm. You know how if you hit your thumb and it's cold? Shut up, Fanny. It's true. You seen that thing? <laughs> it was all loaded. I mean, Jesus, Clyde, you got three pistols and you only got one arm, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you know you don't have a straight angle in that whole goddamn porch. Or in a whole house, for that matter. He is the worst damn carpenter. <laughs> the sight of royalty would cause you to dismiss all thoughts of bloodshed, right. and you would stand... How shall I put it? Uh, in awe. Mm. Now, a president. Well, I mean, why not shoot the president? Uh. I think up to you. Been a long time, Bob. Huh? Bill, Bill. Well, I thought you was, um, uh, well, I thought that you were dead. I was tasting the soup two hours after it ended. <laughs> Well, actually, what I heard was that you fell off your horse and that you broke your bloody neck. I heard that one myself, Bob. Hell, I even thought I was dead. Till I found out it was just that I was in Nebraska. W.W. <laughs> Beauchamp. Beauchamp. This is little Bill Daggett. You work for the railroads too, Mr. Beauchamp? No. <laughs> actually, uh, he's my biographer. Uh, wouldn't do that if I were you. Mr. Beauchamp? Oh, he's being himself. He's scared. So I guess that means that uh, you saw the signs outside of town there saying, surrender your firearms. But like you told young Andy here, you're not armed, are you, Bob? Well, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't see it, or most particularly if you don't hear it. Afraid so, Bob. You don't like firearms around. Be very careful. So. And he was just such a liar. He's like, we're not armed. We believe in them. What was it we trust fellow man? See what kind of books Mr. Beauchamp is packing here. Make sure you don't get wet. Oh, from the bee! The duck of death. Uh, Duke. The Duke, Bill. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. I'll have that 32, Bob. <laughs> You've been talking about the Queen again? On Independence Day. Uh. Look at all those villains down there in Kansas. And I'm talking all those villains in Missouri. And all those villains uh. down there in Cheyenne. And I'm telling them there ain't no horse gold. And even if there was, oh, they wouldn't want to come looking for it. Uh. But they have the thousand, right? Like, I think I was, I remember when they were counting up what each girl had. Do they come to the thousand that they're offering? I think they have it. What are y'all looking at? Go on, get out of here. Scoop! Go on, mind your own business. He just beat the crap out of like an older man. 
You ever go into town? On occasion, sell a hog, pick up supplies. No, no, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, get yourself a woman or something. <laughs> no, I never go into town for that. Only one a man like me could get is one he'd have to pay for. That ain't right. I think that's what he meant. Body, I can rest your soul, would never want me doing something like that. Me being a father. You just use your hand? <laughs> Who's shooting at them? Oh, you know, I bumped my head falling off my horse. Is it, um, the kid that they're trying to, the young guy that they're trying to catch up to? You don't reckon we in somebody's field, do you? I didn't see nothing planted. Shooting at us again. Where are your horses? Well, he's shooting up the whole horizon, Will. Now, wait a minute. You're gonna mark us. Hey, kid. Kid? He knows it's him. Hey, kid, it's me, Will Money. What the hell is the kid shooting at us for? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> now, don't go shooting at us no more, you hear me? OK. Now, don't go shooting at us, you hear? We're gonna collect our horses and come on over there. You ain't gonna shoot now, are you? No, I ain't. But he could have killed them right then and there. They got shot at close the first time. This is the Schofield kid, nephew to Pete Sathow. I seen two fellas following me. My guess is you come kill me. We never talk about no other fella. He's got the little grass stick, the little. Well, you were shooting all over creation. You gonna share your half with him? Yeah, that's what I said. You figured wrong. Sorry I wasted your time, man. What, you going back with him? He's my partner. You don't go, I don't go. But he didn't say no. He just said you're going to split your half. So the difference between 250 and 330. Well, that's good. He caved and wants to split it equally anyway. But even if he hadn't, it's still good money, right? They still would have made 250. I could hit that hawk with one shot. Hell, I could hit it too, Ned. <laughs> if I didn't mind wasting a shot. There ain't no hawk, kid. Uh. All right, how far can you see? Far enough. <laughs> we ain't going to Wyoming to shoot canteens, goddammit. How far? A hundred yards? More. Can you see that scrub oak yonder? You, Ned. He's blind, Will. I ain't blind, you ass. He's not blind. Now, hold on. Hold it. He's short-sighted. You bet your ass I can see 50 yards, Will. I can see well enough to shoot this son of a right here in front of me. Kid can see 50 yards. Fine. I mean, he's not blind. He's just got bad eyesight. Long vision wise, right? What why were they gonna fight so far away? He's no sniper, but he's he can see fight close up. Did you kill all seven of them dead? Or did you just wing some of them? Now that is you there, and the bomb on the cover. The duck of death. <laughs> the duck again. The duck. The duck. The duck. I've been there and taken from the account of my witnesses, sir. Eyewitnesses. Yes, sir. You mean like the duck himself, I guess. <laughs> English Bob killed Corky Corcoran. I didn't see you there. No, no woman, no two gun shooters, no, none of this. Yeah, I was there. I'm just making up stuff. But that wasn't because he was sporting two pistols. That was because he had a, it was so big, it was longer than the barrel. <laughs> he would have been there right to the end to defend himself. Wait a minute, you mean English, English Bob killed him when he didn't even have a barrel? Well, old Bob wasn't gonna wait for Corky to grow a new hand. No, he just walked over there real slow because he was drowned, shot him right through the liver. <laughs> At least he looks like he believes it. You said that last night. <laughs> no, last night I said I missed my wife. Tonight I just missed my dad gone. <laughs> How many men you kill? Why don't you gonna answer the question? What the hell is that to you? Hmm. Well, I gotta know what kind of fellow I'm riding in case we get into a scrape and all. I wouldn't worry about it. They seem to know what they're doing. How many? Two. Five. I done killed five of them. That's including Mexican. He come at me with a knife. Don't you shut up. Get some rest. <laughs> Boys are as crotchy as a couple old hands. Let me tell you. Actually, then, Mr. Corcoran. Oh, he's out now. Rather than the duck, then in English, Bob. And he's calling him the duck. It was his mistake. If he hadn't been in such a goddamn hurry, he wouldn't have shot himself in the toe with that first shot. He would have killed old Bob. Look, son. <laughs> Rewriting. And you and Bob can just ride on out of here free as birds. <laughs> ah! It is, it is, is it loaded? Wouldn't do you much good if it wasn't. First you got to cock it. Go on, cock it. Bob's thinking like, yeah, do it, let's go. I'm not gonna do it. 
Now you gotta point it. You can't even hold a gun. Go on, point it. Now all you gotta do is pull the trigger, mister. He's not gonna do it. Bob wishes. <laughs> you didn't even put your finger on the trigger. What if, what if I gave it to him? Give it to him. This guy's so slimy in everything, I feel. They might want to give it to him. Because Bob's rash and ru rushed and Gene Hackman's cool-headed. I guess you don't want it, Mr. Beauchamp. Oh, I thought he was going to take it and shoot and Gene Hackman was going to shoot first. Ah! You're right not to take it, Bob. I would have killed you. I believe it. Give some rain, Mr. Beauchamp. There you go. I brought this along for when we have to kill them fellas. Big if we could use some now. Not me, I don't touch it. No oh, come on, Will, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, have a drink. When he was talking back there about the time them deputies had to drop on you and Pete, three men you shot, Will, not two. Oh, I ain't like that no more, Ned. Crazy killer. It was even more than the story. Other stories get exaggerated and his actually got diluted. <laughs> I guess you know, Bob, that uh, if I see you again, I'm just going to start shooting and figure it's self-defense. <sighs> and what about, uh... And all you whores, got no laws, got no honor. He's rhyming. You're a lot of savages, look at you all are. A bunch of bloody savages. I thought he was going to start shooting. What do you call them things cover up your face with? A veil. Yeah, a veil. Get a veil. Oh. They're coming. Your husband's coming. How far out are they, I wonder? No firearms in Big Whiskey. Hey, it's fella asking for you, Alice. You ain't joshing? This way, mister. Randy is hell to come out on this ship. Oh, they're here. They made it. Stopping them just to carry it on. Yeah. Oh, Bill, please. Oh, God, please don't kill me, Bill. Please don't kill me, Bill. I said, Jim. I love it. This guy's not doing the biography for him. Much better stories and true. Carrying two pistols and a Henry rifle and crying like a damn baby. And they're buddies now. But without any sand or character. Not even any bad character. Do not like assassins or men of low character. Yeah. Like your friend English Bob. And there's two more assassins coming. I just. <laughs> yeah, damn. Well, I, I don't have any more receptacles. Yeah, well, maybe you should just hang the carpenter. <laughs> oh, uh. P did it himself. What the hell's keeping that kid? You don't suppose he's a. Jesus, Will. You look like shit. What's happening? I'm gonna go up and see what's keeping the kid. It must be he's getting an advance from one of them sporting ladies. Well, um, look, if I was too uh, worked out that I could take a little time for myself, I, I don't suppose you would. Uh, I guess you wouldn't want to come. But they're gonna get there. They're gonna see that. I mean, and it's horrible that her face got cut up. Horrible. But are they thinking that these guys killed someone, cut their eyes out? She's right there. Cut their eyes out. Cut her ears off, cut her chest off. He's not okay, though. For a second, I thought maybe he did get shot back then, but that was days ago. He just has a fever from... And I was saying I loved Absolute Power, the movie, and that's Gene Hackman and Clint Eastwood again, so they'd already done this before doing Absolute Power. Uh-uh. And he's not well. Give me the pistol, mister. I says, give me over your pistol. <sighs> what if I was to say you was a no good set up a liar? What's he doing? Stop. This is the kind of trash I'm thinking of! Ah! Which 
minutes of talk. Over in uh, Cheyenne. Because he's sick. I was like, why he's not doing anything? You know what to say, little Bill. You got to look sharp for that lone pine. You miss the pine, you ain't gonna find it. Okay, never mind the straight man. Put the. Ah! Ah! See what was happening, but they both were just with the women. What are we gonna do about Will? Come on, kid. Let's hope the horses are still there. What about Will? Let the man out, WW. He's desiring to leave the hospitality of Big Whiskey behind him. Little Bill, she's gotta work. She's gotta turn a dollar a ten. Yeah. Not nah, don't hurt her. What do you mean they're just passing through here? They was going to Far Buford. You just kicked the shit out of an innocent man. Innocent and what? And did they keep his gun? Cause they gave it back to um, you know, Richard Harris or whatever, uh, when when he left the duck. Jesus, Ned. He done this before? Plenty of times. His pistol must have jammed. He didn't fight. Bring that candle in a little closer. I can't see. Oh, and they're together in Million Dollar Baby. He wouldn't have took no beating like that if it hadn't a jam. He wouldn't just give it over and not shoot no one. I love it when you see people work together multiple times because you know that, you know, they like each other. And they're probably friends. You know, well, at least I would have pulled my pistol, Ned. Well, you did. Right out of the lady and out the goddamn window. And hey, that was your idea. I wanted to go okay, back to see... Gotta go. Oh, they got the girls back there. Don't it make you sick hearing him like that? Hey, don't you ladies worry none. Me and Ned will kill them two sons of bitches for you. And one of them, the one that didn't cut her up, oh, yeah. he didn't do anything, did he? Like, and he's the one that tried to then give her a horse and... Not that that makes it all okay, but he wasn't, he wasn't even, he didn't even hurt her. And was he even a part of like saying stop, stop when it was happening? He's got snake eyes. Oh, well, who's got snake eyes? It's the angel of death. I'm scared of dying. Uh, I see Claudia too. That's good to saw Claudia, ain't it? Her face was all covered with worms. Oh, dad, I'm scared. I'm, I'm dying. You're not, you're not, you're not. You're not even shot. You have a fever. It's okay. You won't. No, don't tell nobody. Don't tell my kids. None of the things I tell hear me. Oof. We're not gonna lose Clint. Sleep it off. He's gonna die, ain't he? Maybe. Oh. Well, supposing he does. We'll bury him. No! I feel like her scars have taken a step backwards. Uh, Is he gonna realize that she's... It was an angel. That she's not as hurt as they said? No. He's better. You gotta be the one those cowboys cut up. My partners. Okay, so they know. Out to the bar tea, looking for them. How long have I been here? Two days. Three days. Are you hungry or? Three days. I, I ought to be. <laughs> I thought I was gone. How do we just switch to the snow? Are you really going to kill them cowboys? Still a payment coming, isn't there? They've been taking advances on the payment. Just on their share, hopefully. Alice and Silky been giving them free ones. Would you like a free one? No, I... I guess not. I, uh, I didn't mean with me. I meant, uh, Alice and Silky would be happy to give you... No, it wasn't about you. You ain't ugly like me. You've got scars. But you're a beautiful woman, and if I was to want a, a free one, I'd want it with you, I guess, more than <laughs> the mother, too. Yeah. If I wanted a free one... <laughs> I admire you for that, for being true to your wife and all. I've known a lot of men who weren't. Same. Yeah, I suppose. Why is Clint Eastwood keep saying... Is she back in Kansas? He's ugly, though. He's a great-looking man. Look at him. Aww. Yeah, she's watching over my young one. <laughs> Hang 
didn't do anything that's one is it he ain't dead you didn't get him got the boy's horse better finish him before he gets clear that's one right that's the nicer one that's the get over there davy <laughs> what happened he ain't killed what oh my god it's horrible from all sides unless we go down there what rocks why don't you shoot what's going on then <laughs> what is going on well ain't you gonna shoot what? Because he's a kid? Ned, goddammit, how many more shots do I have? Two. Two. What happened to Ned? That is the nice one, I think, that gave her the... <laughs> Go, Davey! Did you get him? And where's the one that actually cut her up with the beard? He ain't killed. Maybe, maybe not. Got him to the gut, I think. Which one's the other one? I'm so confused. You think we killed him? Yeah. We killed him. I guess. And they're all bent up about it. I'm bleeding, Sliff! He's gone. Give him a drink of water, God damn it! Oh! Will you give him a drink of water, for Christ's sake? We ain't gonna shoot. You ain't gonna shoot! Hold on, David boy. Here it come now. And that's that guy that always plays like a, ooh, I guess, college, like, football head. Thank you. Oh, it's horrible. And they're conflicted, and they don't, they're good guys now. They don't want to kill this kid. And this kid didn't even cut up the girl. Man. They take him water? Jesus, Johnny, they shot him! Is that... Look at these guys, they're ruined by it. I'll look in on your younger. Don't pay no attention to what the kid said about the money and all. I'll bring your share. It's full of shit. But it's days away to get home. If he waited, they could ride home together, Clint and Morgan Freeman. And now they've both got to go home solo. Little Bill? Little Bill? <laughs> Where's Carpentry? Oh, no, he's up there. I thought it was just falling apart. I uh, just doing some repairs up here. They killed one of them cowboys. <laughs> right, yeah. Don't worry about them horses, Fatty. You just get on out there to the bar T and make sure that other cowboy stays put and don't expose himself here. All right. I mean, it's tough because you see, like, both sides. Like, they're doing a lot to protect this guy, but he, like, disfigured... This woman. He had it coming for what he done, and the other one too. Both of them for what they done. Everyone's just killing everyone. I mean, uh, but the one that they haven't hurt yet—that's the worst one. The one they just killed. We got one, Cheryl. How about Cow Creek? Is he alive? I, hell yeah! Bunch of us boys from Bar T went out looking on account <gasps> of them killing one of our own. Come across this son of a bitch. They got Morgan Freeman. Did he admit it? No, but I guess he will soon enough. Had a Spencer rifle on him. Those cowboys messed him up? A little bit, I guess. All right. Oh! See if you can find out what happened to those other two fellas. It's just all about the circle of hate and revenge. And, you know, Ned didn't even want to do it when he, when he came face to face with it. No, they're just, and everybody thinks they're doing everything and like, you know, for honor and for the right reasons and to defend what, you know, they, uh, the girls, they want to defend her. She got hurt. These guys want to, ah! I said, how much? They says about five. I said, dollars? I said, sold. <laughs> well, I ain't worried. Because I got me some protection. That's him, isn't it? That's him. And he's not nice. I'd rather they killed him first. The other kid, I feel like he was not to blame. But now I can't remember. I'm like, how did that scene actually play out an hour ago? 
You want to tell me and Mr. Uh, Beauchamp here uh, all about your two villains? Mr. Beauchamp, he's got this permanent sidekick now. The names and whereabouts of those murders, some of If they kill Morgan Freeman, oh, and then the guilt that, that Will is going to have for that, and Ned's wife that didn't want him to go and get back into that, and Ned didn't even want to. You think he's still in there? Yeah. He's in there. Yeah, well, he's holding on to his shit like it was money. <sighs> Ain't gonna shoot him your own self, are you? You can shoot him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Hello, Fred Ain't. No, you said uh, Elroy Quincy out of uh, Medicine Hat and uh, Henry Tate out of Cheyenne. Making up stuff. Them will tell different lies than you. And when their lies ain't the same as your lies, but I'm gonna hurt you. Mm -hmm. But bad. Gene Hackman is so good. I mean, you know, you love him in fun stuff like the Royal Tenenbaums and things like that, but then he's so good at being evil and menacing and dark like that. I'll go with you. Yeah, you can wipe my ass, Thirsty. <laughs> oh, with him, you know? man ain't polite, he would've get shot. That's him, just walking out. Woo! Is that him? Yeah, that's him. And they know that from that one sketch, that one, like, sort of garbage drawing? <laughs> yes. <sighs> if this kid gets killed... Because he's holding a gun too, the guy that they're after. It would be fitting if he gets hurt because it's just, that's what this whole film is about. Shoot him! Do it! Do it! No, no! Oh my god! Oh, okay. Oh, that took so long though, I was nervous. Come on, damn it. Get out of there, please, 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 please. Did you get him? Yeah. And he got him 100%. He shot him three times in the chest and some, hey, he's done. Go! Ah! Oh. oh my God. If he can't get on the horse properly. I can't see him. Just shoot, damn ya. Oh, he's on. They're on foot, so fu- Run! Please, nobody be shot. Oh. Whoo! I thought they was gonna get us. I was even scared a little, just for a minute. Yeah. I shot that for three times. He's taking a shit, he went for his pistol, and I blazed away. Not immediately. Say will. Yeah. That was the first one. Yeah. First one what? First person you've ever killed. First one I ever killed. You know how I said I shot five men? It weren't true. Uh, <laughs> we all know. That Mexican had come at me with a knife. I just busted his leg with a shovel. I, I didn't kill him or nothing either. Well, you sure killed the hell out of that fella today. I'm glad he killed the bad guy. Hell yeah. Then the innocent one that he was with. Three shots and he was taking a shit. <sighs> None of our guys are bad guys. Look how much they're struggling with like hurting people. Oh. All of them, Ned had to leave. It don't seem real. He's, he can't handle it. That was dead and the other one too. All on account of pulling the trigger. That's why he took so long to pull it. He'd never done it. It's a hell of a thing, killing a man. You take away all he's got, and all he's ever gonna have. Whew. Yeah. Well, I guess they had it coming. We all have it coming, kid. Silky and Faith, they rode off to the east, and two deputies was following them. Ha! Good plan. Good plan. You wanna help me count this stuff, kid? I trust you, Will. Well, don't go trusting me too much. 
In fact, we'll give Ned his share together. That way you'll know I ain't holding out on you. Ned's share? <gasps> he went south. We'll catch up to him. Ned, he's dead. No! He went south yesterday. He ain't dead. They, they killed him. I, I thought you knew that. Nobody killed Ned. He didn't kill anyone. Oh, my God. Why would anybody kill Ned? Who killed him? Oh. So little Bill killed him for what we done. Not on purpose. But he started hurting him worse, making him tell stuff. First, Ned wouldn't say nothing. Oh, God. Said he was more cold-blooded than William Bonney. And how if he hurt Ned again, he was going to come kill him, like he killed a US Marshal in 70. That didn't scare little Bill, did it? No, sir. Oh, my gosh. We got to go kill little Bill. Oh. You go on, keep it. I'm never going to use it again. Uh-huh. What about the spectacle and the fancy clothes? I guess I'd rather be blind and ragged than dead. <laughs> you don't have to worry, kid. I ain't going to kill you. You're the only friend I got. But he's in danger. The kid is still in danger because they're th the three of them that little Bill would want, and the little kid is who. You're gonna kill little Bill, ain't you? Yep. You stay clear of folks you see. Be a lot of map to hang you. Get going. That's what I mean. He he has bad long sight vision. Uh, he's on his own. They're after him, and technically he's the one that killed Mike or whatever that other the one that cut her up, the other cowboy. He killed him. Um. He's not safe at all. I can't believe Ned died. I knew when Clint Eastwood and the young kid got out safe, I was like, if they're both fine, Ned is not. No. Oh! We're gonna divide up into four parties. And we'll hit all the farms and the trails to make a big is circle. Is he standing right there in the back of the room? Oh my God. Ah! Uh, I own this establishment. Bought it from Greeley for a thousand dollars. You better clear out of there. Just hold it right there. Hold it! <gasps> he killed Skinny, killed Bill. Well, sir, you were a cowardly son of a You just shot an unarmed man. He should have armed himself. He's gonna decorate his saloon with my friend. You'd be William Money out of Missouri. Kill women and children. Please. I've killed women and children. Killed just about everything that walks or crawled at one time or another. And I'm here to kill you, little bit. Uh. What you did to Ned. Talk about being quick and cool-headed. Be, be cool-headed. Misfire, kill us. Shells, too. Oh, God. Oh, good, good, good. No, look, I'm not... I, I don't have a gun. I've never had a gun. I write. I'm a writer. <laughs> the biographer's gonna jump to different people, and now he's gonna follow Clint Eastwood around and write his stories. Single-handed. He's gonna write about you. That's a, a suspensor rifle, right? Is that so? Yeah, little Bill told me that. And you probably killed him first, didn't you? Did his eyes just flicker? Who was next? It was Clyde, right? He must have killed Clyde. Well, could have been Deputy Andy, wasn't he? Or, 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 All I can tell you is who's going to be last. Look at him. See that he's not dead. 
Oh, gosh. I don't deserve this. <sighs> to die like this. I was building a house. Uh, not very well. Deserves got nothing to do with it. And Ned didn't deserve it. I'll see you in hell while you money. Yeah. Any man I see out there, I'm gonna kill him. Any some bitch takes a shot at me, not only gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill his wife, all his friends. Oh. Burn his damn house down. Nobody better shoot. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't no deputy. Ah. You better bury Ned right. Better not cut up no otherwise harm no harm. Or I'll come back and kill every one of you sons of me. Like the opening shot. He's back home. His wife's grave. Ugh. Some years later, Mrs. and Sonia Feathers made their arduous journey to Hodgman County to visit the last resting place of her only daughter. William Money had long since disappeared with the children. Some said to San Francisco, where it was rumored he prospered in dry goods. And there was nothing on the marker to explain to Mrs. Feathers why her only daughter had married a known thief and murderer, a man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition. <laughs> but he wasn't. Of course he directed it too. He's just, he's the goat. He's the greatest of all time. He is, he is like nothing else. I feel like there's the Spielbergs and there's the big like, you know, uh, huge Hollywood movies like that. But then there's Clint Eastwood and his films are just, I don't know, they touch you in such a different way. And that was a lot. <sighs> and then, uh, it's just so sad. <laughs> and again, it's about humans and, and like the power and like the danger of hate and revenge and all of those like lesser qualities, you know, in our darker nature that, that we give way to and like the, the, the damage it causes. That entire film was people acting out from hate, fear, revenge, you know, and I know he did it for the money. Um, he was no longer that sort of person but he did it for money for his children. And, uh, but the struggle between them, like our guys, the young kid, Morgan Freeman and Clint Eastwood, like this sort of inner struggle with what they're doing. And then at the end when he lost his best friend, he's just like, I'm back, baby. Pew, 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 pew. But uh, that was very emotional, very sad, very honest. And uh, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So again, my name is Kobe and uh, Thanks for watching Unforgiven with me here on Criminal Content. Bye.